Hi, I'm Heba, and today I'm going to take you through a level one fitness ballet workout. For this workout, you don't need any equipment, you just need yourself, a little bit of space, and maybe a mat or a soft carpet for the last section of the workout. So let's go ahead and get started. And you start with your feet touching and together, standing nice and tall, and your hands on your hips. We're going to breathe in to bend the knees and think of sitting on a chair behind you, and breathe out to stretch your legs and stand up. Inhale, bend, and exhale, stretch. Bend, stretch. Keep a long spine as you reach forward with the trunk, and think of most of your weight on your heels. Squeezing the knees together and keeping a connection through the inner thighs. We're gonna add the arms now, so as we bend the knees, we reach the arms up by the ears, and then as you stand up, you bring the arms back down again. Breathe in to go down, out to come up. Next addition we're going to do, after you squat down, you're going to lift one leg up, knee towards the chest, and your leg ever so slightly bent, coming down into a squat each time. If the arms are confusing, just keep your arms by your hips. But otherwise, it's arms go up as you go into your squat, and as your leg lifts, your arms come down. So we're gonna do another four more of these. Okay, rest. Now we're gonna do a little bend, and we're gonna kick the leg out to the side. Bend and kick, bend, kick. As you kick the leg, kick it really slightly. You don't want to lift high at all, so that you can keep your hip bones level and in line. And I'd like you to imagine there's like a ruler here, and you have to keep them in the same line. We can add the arms now. So we go bend, swing the arms round towards the leg, and down again. Again, arms are optional. And you should start to feel your standing leg getting warmer, waking up. Let's do three more. And two, and one. Okay, let's go for the other side. So you're gonna do a little bend, kick your leg out to the side, bend, kick, bend, kick. Small kick, but defined and precise. Add the arms, optional if you want, and swing the arms round, bring it round. Let's go for another four, and four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our plies. I'd like you to turn your legs out this time, but turn them out from the tops of your legs rather than from the knees. And make sure you're standing upright as you do a little plie, little knee bend and stretch. Little knee bend and stretch. A lot of the moves in this workout are taken from classical ballet, but they're simplified to make it more of a workout. So don't worry about having a background in dance or being ex gymnast or anything like that. It's really just simple, straightforward, effective moves. Hold it at the bottom in your plie position now. Make sure that your pubic bone and your sternum and your nose are all vertical and you're not sticking your bottom out. We're going to lift the right heel up and then take it down and then lift the left heel up and take it down. Lift the right heel and lower, lift the left heel and lower. And while you do this, I'd like you to try and stay in exactly the same height, so you don't want to be bouncing up and down. Let me try go from one directly to the other. As one comes up, the other heel goes down. And you're trying to keep your hip bones absolutely still. You're just switching one to the other, one to the other. Now your legs should start to feel like they're really working. 
We're gonna try to go both heels up and down at the same time. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, lower. Lift, lower. Again, keeping that same height. If you imagine the ceiling is exactly where your head is, you don't wanna bump your head. And if you need to for balance, just hold on to the wall or a chair. Sending the knees out to the side rather than coming up. Let's do four more of these. Three, two, and hold the heels up now. Little tiny pulses. One, two, from the knees now. Four, five, six, seven, and one more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Well done. Okay, now we're gonna come up onto our first position, but squeeze your heels together from the beginning. So we're gonna inhale, bend. The heels are lifted from the very beginning, but they're stuck together. And exhale, stretch and zip up through the inner thighs. Inhale to bend, and exhale, stretch. Bend, stretch. These are quite challenging without the um, wall, but if you're holding onto the wall or on a chair, you're still gonna be working quite strongly in the legs. So sometimes it's better to hold on so you don't hold excessive tension in your upper body trying to balance. You wanna hold your core muscles in tightly, but not in a way that's making you not breathe. So not excessive tension, but just bring awareness to your core muscles. Okay, we're gonna hold the plie position now, squeezing the heels together, and do little pulses again. Two, three, four, five, six. You should feel all these muscles working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Okay, same turn out position, but open the legs. And we're gonna inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, stretch the legs. And as you bend your knees, Make sure that they're actually tracking your toes. So if you're a little bit tight in your inner thigh muscles, make sure that you angle your feet in a little bit so you're not having the feet out and your knees pointing inward. They should all be tracking in one line. Again, the body is vertical and you're not leaning forward. We're gonna do three pulses down and then come up to standing. So we go one, two, three, stretch. One, two, three, exhale, stretch. One, two, three, stretch. One, two, three, stretch. Okay, hold. Back to the spider one. So you're gonna lift your right heel and lower it down. Lift the left heel and lower. Right heel, lower, left heel, lower and again you're trying to stay in the same height lifting and lowering your heels without actually bouncing up and down at all now we go from one directly to the other from one to the other switching without shifting your hips or your rib cage everything's in one spot five four three two one, both up and down at the same time. Lift heels up, lower them down. Up, down, up, down, up. Take a break whenever you need to. These are tough and you'll feel that your legs are starting to shake maybe a little bit, but as you get used to the workout, you'll start to feel stronger and stronger every time you do it. Okay, let's hold at the top. Try and pulse now with the heels lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight, one, two, three, four, tiny pulses, six, seven, eight, stretch your legs, go back to the plie again for a stretch now, take your arm across on the same side of the knee, stretch over, hold, your legs will still be working a little bit here, but you'll feel a nice stretch to your side, and then slowly come back up again, let's do the other side, so bend, take your arm across, push the knee open and reach. Taking a breath or two in this stretch. And we come back up to standing. 
Okay, let's turn around now for our lunge positions. So, your back heel should be lifted, your front heel grounded. You're gonna put your hands on your hips and you're gonna bend the knees. And think about that back knee, like it's gonna touch the floor, but it doesn't. So it stops just short. You want enough spacing between your legs to feel like you're not forced to lean forward with your trunk, because that's what most of us do when we do lunges, we like to lean forward. Keep your body upright and keep your weight down that back leg. In fact, most of the work you should be feeling is in this back leg. Your hip bones, they should be squared forward. They're like headlights pointing forward. We're gonna hold it at the bottom now. We do tiny little pulses again. There's lots of pulses in this workout that keeps the tension on the muscle and helps it grow and tone up. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna go into that same lunge and we're gonna kick the leg over to a ground butt mode. So we bend and kick. Bend, kick, bend. Doesn't have to be a high kick. You're just trying to find your grounding and balance as the leg comes back. With this workout, whenever you start to feel like you're showing excessive tension in your shoulders, your neck, and you can't help it, take a breather, press pause, and then carry on. Because it should look effortless. Still ballet in that sense. Okay, now we go to the side. Back to your second position. And hold it here now. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a stretch in the inner thighs while working the opposite muscles in the glutes and outer legs. So you're opening the knees in little pulses. Out, out, out. And these are quite strong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight if you can manage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in and breathe out. Fold over. Let your head hang. Let your neck muscles relax. Slowly roll back up again. And we're gonna turn to face the other way for our opposite lunges. So you're gonna inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. You bend, stretch, bend. Again, keeping the weight mostly on the back leg. The body nice and upright. Go five more. Five, four, three, two, hold. Little pulses now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another eight. Hold one, two, tiny little ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we go into the lunge and kick, ground butt mount. So we go inhale, bend. Exhale, kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and relax. Okay, our last section standing up for the legs is our curtsies. So you're starting in your second position again. You're gonna take your right leg back and behind you in a curtsy. You step out, 
Take your left leg behind you in a curtsy. And this is just like you're taking a bow on stage. Lunge. Curtsy, lunge. Try to go nice and deep on these curtsies. Just like you did in your lunges before. And you can add the arms. Okay, we're gonna hold the curtsy position and you're gonna do little pulses here again. Little pulses, one, two, three, four. Keeping the back nice and upright, six, seven, eight. One more, eight, one, two, three. And you should be feeling the back leg, five, six, seven, eight, rest. Let's do the other side. Take the leg back, curtsy, little pulses. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One more, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to second position. Hold, pulse outward for one more set. One, two. The knees are going back. Four, five. Using your glutes to take the legs back. Eight. One more, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, take a big breath in. Side forward bend again. And then slowly roll back up again. Okay, now we're gonna get to the floor. So get your towel or your carpet or your mat and go ahead and kneel. Take your arms as far forward as you can. Drop your head and rest here in this position. So our first exercise, now we're gonna work into the upper body a little bit. So far you've really focused on your legs. Now, we're gonna go ahead and come forward into an alt box position. Bend your arms, stretch your arms, and come back to a child's pose rest. So, inhale, come forward, bend, stretch, and push back. Forward, bend, stretch, and push back. So a lot of us when we do these kind of push-ups, we, as we bend our arms, we arch our back and we let it curve like this. Try and keep your tailbone tucked under as you do the push-up. Your core muscles gently connected throughout. This is the level one option. If any of you wanna do the more advanced level two option or you wanna have a go, you're going to take a plank position, lift your bottom and bend your knees. This is what we're gonna call the crouching position. And from crouching, you go to plank, bend, stretch, back to crouch. Plank, push up, back to crouch. If you've got a pretty strong upper body, you can have a go at this, even though this is a level one workout. So I'm gonna to stick to knees down. I'm gonna try and go for another four. Four. And three. And two. And one. Relax. Okay, go ahead and lie down on your side, but don't lie down fully. Make sure to rest on your elbow. Lift your trunk away from your arm and make sure that you're not sinking or collapsing into your shoulder, but you're creating space in your joint. You're going to stretch your top leg, keep your bottom leg bent, and make sure your hip bones are completely stacked. We're gonna lift this leg, energize it, and do little lifts at the leg. So baby lifts, nothing too high. If you're getting tired at all in this position, Feel free to just rest your head down on your arm. Otherwise, hold. Up here is just a little bit more challenging on these muscles. These are the muscles we're trying to target. Should feel very direct after a while and it should feel like it's getting warmer and warmer and then starting to burn a little bit, which is normal. 
Okay, hold the leg. We go forward, then middle, then up, down, forward, middle, up, down, forward, middle, up, down, forward. These are very small movements, but very precise. Forward, middle, up, down, forward, middle, up, and hold. Now we're gonna take the leg up and back behind us. So it's a bit of a back angle diagonal. So we go one, two, using the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Well done. Let's go ahead and roll over to the other side. I'm gonna work the other leg. Bend the bottom leg again, stack your hip bones, lift your trunk away from your arm, make the leg long, and little lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Energized leg and long eight, last eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and hold. You're gonna take the leg forward and middle and up, down. Forward, middle, up, down. Forward, middle, up, down. Forward, middle, up, down. Keep going with this. Remember, small, defined movements of the leg while keeping your pelvis absolutely still. And think of your pelvis, it's your bikini bottom or your underwear. That shouldn't move whatsoever. Only the leg that's moving in its own joint, which is down here, the hip joint. Up, down, let's do three more. Forward, middle, up, down, forward, middle, up. One more, forward, middle, up, down. Now we go up and back diagonal, up, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, another eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Okay, going back to the arms now, we're gonna do our push-ups in a different way now. The arms are gonna be behind us, your legs are gonna get bent, and angle the fingers towards your, towards your heels, so they're inward. We're gonna lift the bottom, just a little bit, you don't have to lift high, just to add two inches off the floor. And you're gonna bend your arms like you're gonna sit down and then you're gonna stretch. So it's bend and stretch. Now, a lot of people I know are a bit uncomfortable in this position because of the wrists or the shoulders. If you are, just do regular dips against a chair. So exactly what we're doing now, but with the hands on the edge of a chair and you're going straight down and up, and that feels easier on the wrists for most people. This movement is very small, but it should feel very direct on your triceps. The backs of your arms should feel like they're working. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Open the knees, bring your head close to your feet, Have it take a little stretch. The last section of this workout is our core strengthening exercises. All right, this, this focus we're gonna target now, and then we're gonna finish with a stretch. So go ahead and lie down on your back. Okay. And we're gonna take our spine into an imprint position. So tilt your pelvis and let your lower back press into the ground. We're gonna lift one leg up to tabletop, and then the other one. And some of you may feel more comfortable with the hands underneath the bottom. You're gonna straighten the legs up, and we're gonna inhale, open the legs out to the side, and exhale, close the legs. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Open, close. Open, close. And you just have to try and keep your lower back in contact with the ground. And that way your core muscles are working, but also your inner thighs are working as well. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Bend the knees and go ahead and curl up with the head and shoulders. Hands are gonna go behind the head. I'm just gonna move my mic. And we're gonna exhale, stretch one leg away, switch and reach, switch, switch. And I want you to focus on keeping your lower back in contact with the ground. And your eyes are looking down towards your pubic bone. And then go ahead and crisscross opposite elbow to opposite knee. Looking underneath the armpit and keeping the elbows wide open. Five, four, three. Make sure you're not just turning your neck, you're actually driving the ribcage round two. Last time, one, and relax. We're gonna do that one more time. So go ahead and lift your legs up to the ceiling. Breathe that open, close. Two, three, keeping the abdomen compressed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bend the knees, curl up with the head and shoulders, and one leg stretch. One, and two, three, four. Keep the abdomen compressed, eyes down. Six, seven, eight, crisscross, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Okay, just take your knees over to one side, arms open. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, send your knees over to the other side. And back up again. This time take your right leg across like you're sitting cross-legged. Send your legs over to the left. If you've got your right leg up, keep your shoulder anchored. Take a few breaths here. And you feel a nice stretch down the back and the glute. Come back center. Take your left leg across. Send your legs over to the right. Keep the left shoulder anchored. And then come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give your back a little bit of a stretch. And you're all done. So thank you for joining me on this workout and I hope you enjoyed it.